So starting in chapter four, okay? So this chapter is the introductory part to the biology, all right? So this talks about um, a little bit of chemistry, okay? So when you go to page 37, first of all, in, uh, under the topic of basic chemistry, they talk about atomic structure, all right? So when we're talking about biology, basically um, we talk about molecules, okay? So in our body, right, we have protein, okay, that makes up the cell, all right? Also, we have carbohydrates, we have lipids, and we, ha we have DNA molecules, all right? So everything in our body is actually composed of molecules, okay? So what is molecules? Molecules are composed of atoms. So atom actually makes up the molecules, okay? Mm. So we'll talk more about the molecules later after we learn about the atoms. So what makes up the atoms? In here you have particle that is called subatomic particles, okay? So the types of subatomic particles, we have three different types. So we have protons, neutrons, and then electrons. So these three particles actually make up the the, the atomic structure. So if you actually look at the atomic structure, it looks like nucleus at the center and you have electron orbiting around the nucleus like this, okay? So this is the atomic structure. When two different atoms come together, they form big chunk of compound, okay? So that is called molecule, all right? So when you go to page 37 on table 4.1, they talk about charge, mass, and location, all right? So inside the nucleus, you have, you have proton and neutron, okay? So proton is charged by positive one, and the neutron is charged by negative one, okay? <coughs> okay, and then when you're talking about the masses of these two, they are both 1 amu, okay? So that's the mass of these two, all right? So these two are called nucleons. So nucleon means particle inside the nucleus, okay? And electrons are outside the nucleus, actually orbiting around, and the charge is, so this is electron, and the charge is negative one, all right? Oh, sorry. The charge on this is zero, neutral, okay? And then this is negative one. If you were to talk about the mass of this, this is almost zero amu, okay? Mm. So these are the three subatomic particles, okay? Uh, when you go to the next page, so on page 37 and 38, they talk about ground state, excited state. Uh, if you were to look at it briefly, um, when you look at one atom, inside there you have Nucleus. So I talked about this orbit of electron, right? So for this kind of orbit, they have multiple orbit like this. One, two, three. So electrons have like different orbit here, okay? Um, differing in the distance between the orbit and the nucleus, okay? So these kind of orbits are called energy level. Like this, okay? So as you go farther away from the nucleus, Okay, then your energy level actually goes up, okay? So electrons in this orbit actually has higher energy than electrons in this orbit, okay? So then, mm, on page 37, they talk about two terms. So the first one is ground state. And then the second one is excited state. All right, mm. so ground state actually means the most stable state, okay? So if something is at the most stable state, we just call this ground state. But uh, let's say electron was this, so let's say this is like the most stable state for this electron, but then if this goes up the energy level, okay, so it goes further away from the nucleus, then we say that this is getting excited to the next energy level, you know what I mean? So that is called excited state, all right? So if this electron is most stable in this orbit, okay, but it goes up the energy level, then we call that, this is excited state of the, the atom, okay? So we talk about two different states for the atoms, okay? 
So those are the terms that you have to know. Also.